Sup guys, Legend is here. Today I'm gonna making a video about this thing. My phone is so laggy and all, but yet since since I have made an unboxing on this thing, I haven't even made a review. Yes, I haven't made a review. Oh no, I didn't get a review. And no, no, no. what are the specs? Where you can just view the specs. Just Google it. Google it though. But my point here in reviewing this is that this is not good. This is not this is so bad. This thing is so bad. You know why? Okay, first of all, I like the launcher and all. It's it's kind of like TV like but the, if you're an expert Android user you are probably gonna run into some issues like like if you try to clear the data for the launcher it will stop launching then it will eventually will will keep opening it and stopping again and you eventually get this blinking screen so I decided to reset it said how was it then or I was able to reset it even though I can't even press the settings do you know why I used the file I updated the f I already f updated the file manager the ES1 ES1 if you run into some issues like this and I use a uh, USB and as long as your ES file ma manager since Catabox is OTG supported so is as long as you update it if you try to insert a memory co uh, USB inside the header box it will automatically open the file manager and through this through through the file manager since this ES it's a guaranteed both root and f root and non root explorer you can actually view the system files via the system files I can find the system apps and since the the catabox the catabox the catabox console I don't know Android TV has its own stock settings settings it actually has the stock Android settings but it has own has a third party settings menu which is eventually sucks cuz I actually like default default version of the Android settings but they literally just made it up made their own so after I open the settings I press the reset and everything goes back to normal you get this and yeah this is not pretty good for you if you're an Android geek or whatsoever I know it's cheap but it's a good gaming and one more thing is the controller it, it's a quad this thing is quad core has one gigabyte of RAM and that is enough to run games you can't run games literally without without fixing this freaking joystick because it's high hardwired to be a mouse and why do you why they do you have to do that when you can just use the d-pad to select all around this is not a freaking pc a personal computer like that or just get a vga input instead if you want an android computer damn it damn it i'm not supposed to swear swear but this uh, the, the whole point of this video is i can actually show you how to fix that blinking screen thing when you got that issue so yeah see you guys in the next video and yeah don't do not buy the catabox just get a freaking nvidia shield shield if you just want to play games but this you can just do this for office work but everybody just gonna get the windows windows either but since you're gonna need for schooling or something else yes this this can be useful but you need a keyboard yes you're gonna buy the stock the keyboard that is also in the same brand which is sold separately if you're just gonna use for that but if you want to play games no it's a big no-no not playing this console so it sucks I don't care it gives you cross your road in bomb squad bomb squad is actually good air attack light 
some soccer sh soccer thing. Shit. Uh, I don't I don't like this. I don't like it. Just so. If you wanna play classic games, well, you can use this, but you will still not experience that Android gaming kind of vibe. Okay, so I probably hate this, hate this, and I'm gonna probably gonna sell it. It sucks. I'm only using it for file management in case I want to delete some movies in my thumb drive. So yeah, see you guys in the next video. And make sure you subscribe for more content that isn't even entertaining anymore. So this is just another hack guide. And yeah, bye.